Coming up, you're about to hear the Children's Hour podcast. If you want to support our work or find any more information about this episode, just go to childrenshour.org. We've got curriculum posted, and there are ways to donate to our nonprofit. Thanks for listening, and enjoy the show. What is a child guilty of if he refuses to sleep during nap time? I don't know what. Resisting a rest. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for the Children's Hour. Kids Public Radio. Not in terms of gold and silver Doesn't mean that we don't have our wealth Some say we have lost it But no in a world gone mad Sanity's no real sign of health So drop your bags and drop your fears Lift your voice and voice your cheers Hoist your mug and give some hugs Shout your mantra, sing your prayers Look around, we're all right here just proves we're not all there. We may not have it all together, but together we can have it all. We may not have it all together, but together we can have it all. The purpose of this life is to live a life with purpose So don't get trapped inside your safety net Fill your well and light your flame but go on seeking service Life without a cause is life without effect Bags and drop your fears Lift your voice and voice your cheers Hoist your mug and give some hugs Shout your mantra, sing your prayers Look around, we're all right here It just proves we're not all there We may not have it all together But together we can have it all From a CD called Be Fearless and Play, that's Wookie Foot. All Together is the name of that tune right here on the Children's Hour. And I am Katie Stone. You have found the Children's Hour. And we're so glad to be with you wherever you might be today. And a whole lot of great kids are here on Zoom. Hello, everyone. Hello. Well, who's here? Hello. I am Airdrie. Hi, I'm... 
Hello. Hello, it's Zen. Hello, it's Amadeus. Hi, it's Lucy. Hello, friends. This is Melissa. What's up? It's Cade. Hi, it's Camila. Hi, it's Lucas. Hi, it's Illuminata. Well, you all, I'm so glad you're here, the crew on Zoom and all of you in listener land. Today on the show, we have a very basic lesson in civics with a civics educator named Arthur Lieber. He's done civics education for children his whole life, and he's out of St. Louis, Missouri, and he's with us on Zoom, and we're going to talk with Mr. Lieber in just a few minutes. And we're going to hear from the kids in the Extinction Diaries today about one of the tiniest creatures in the ocean and what's going on with them and what that means for all of us. We've got great music for you today on the show, including this one, a brand new release by Alastair Mook. Be a pain. This is the title track right here on the Children's Hour. If you see something that's wrong, raise your hand and say that's wrong. Point it out and name that thing by its name. Don't stand by and stare. If it's wrong, it's your affair. Don't be quiet. Make a riot. Be a pain. Be a pain. Be a pain. Shout about it and complain. Ignore the crowd and go against the grain. Don't be polite. Raise your voice and do what's right. Be a pain. Be a pain. Be a pain. When Rosa Parks sat on that bus, she chose to make a fuss. She chose to break the rules and take the blame. Her choice to sit and fight helped to bring on civil rights. Because one strong woman chose to be a pain. Be a pain, be a pain, shout about it and complain. If they say you have to move, say I'll remain. Don't be polite, raise your voice and do what's right. Be a pain, be a pain, be a pain. Harvey Milky chose to run for the council board and won. Even though folks said you can't because you're gay. One brave LGBTQ elected leader ran and knew you can change things if you choose to be a pain. Be a pain, be a pain, shout about it and complain. Tell them I won't let you make me feel ashamed. Don't be polite, raise your voice and do what's right. Be a pain, be a pain, be a pain. Tennis star named Billie Jean told the world she had a dream That men and women would be paid the same She refused to hit that ball till there was equal pay for all She was a king because she was a royal pain Be a pain, be a pain, shout about it and complain If they refuse to pay, refuse to play the game don't be polite, raise your voice and do what's right. Be a pain, be a pain, be a pain. Kids from Parkland led the fight for something they all knew was right. They said it's time for us to finally make a change. If adults can't compromise, we must go march for our lives. They spoke out and led the charge. They all were pains. Be a pain, be a pain, shout about it and complain When you're faced with laws you know are just insane Don't be polite, raise your voice and do what's right Be a pain, be a pain, be a pain Oh, be a pain, be a pain, shout about it and complain Ignore the crowd and go against the grain You're listening to the Children's Hour, and with us on the show today is a lifelong educator in civics, Mr. Arthur Lieber, and he lives in St. Louis, Missouri. 
and has founded a program there to help kids learn how they can be involved in civics. Welcome to the Children's Hour, Mr. Lieber. Katie, I'm so happy to be here. Looks like a terrific group. We are a terrific group. Thank you. Uh, we have a lot of questions for you on the crew. Cade, you go ahead and start. What is civics? Civics is basically about how we get along with one another. I think that all of you at one time or another have been to in-person school or you've had homeschool with more than one person, more than yourself. And sometimes you have to have rules. Sometimes you don't. But all the time, you have to figure out ways in which you get along with one another. So I want you to imagine for just a moment, I want to fast forward your clock. All of you, in 15 seconds from now, you're going to be 16 years old. And what's so special about being 16 years old? What can you do? You get to learn how to drive a car. Yeah. Even by that time, hopefully you've already learned and you are driving. Okay? So part of civics is making rules making laws. So if you're driving down the street and you come to another street and there's a traffic signal and the light is red, what does that mean? You got to stop. Right. If it's green, what does that mean? You must go. Yeah, you actually, and it's interesting that you said must because you can't just sit there and just putz around and, you know, figure I don't have to do anything. No, you've got to go. Everybody's expecting you to go then. And what about a yellow light? It's about to stop. Slow down, prepare to stop if you can. That means to drive with caution. And so that's part of civics right there, is that there were people who came up with a system so that we don't crash into one another, so that we know if the light is green, we can go, and the light is red, we can't. Can you think of any other laws, any other rules that we have in our society? Yeah, Airdrie and Flo. Then we can vote after we're 18. Oh, that's such a good law to know about. Thank you for that. Well, Zen here, uh, I think when you uh, check out a book from the library, you have to bring it back, right? And you have your set number of days, and you can even reserve a book. Those are some rules. You're absolutely right. Absolutely right. Mm -hmm. You have to be 21 to legally drink. You mean alcohol? Alcohol. That's that's the law. You're right. You can't murder people. That's a big one. You cannot do that. That's so important. Thank you, Cade, for saying that. And you know, there are other you can't rob a bank. You can't go into a restaurant and get a meal and not pay for it. There are laws and rules so that we work in a way so that we don't hurt other people. And that's, I think, really important. I would imagine that's important to all of you as a basic guideline. Don't hurt other people. Would that be correct? Yes. Okay. Do kids have a role in our civics? I think so. And here's why. How many of you think you can tell when somebody is not telling you the truth? I can be. Kind of. Okay. I think I can. Here's a tougher one. Do you think you can ever tell if your parents are not telling you the truth? Yes, definitely. Most definitely. Actually, my parents don't really lie to me that much. Well, if a parent didn't tell you the truth, what might be a reason why they would tell you something that isn't true? Oh, some of the times my mom has lied to me is when we're seeing friends and she's like, why don't we go on a hike? And I'm like, okay. And then we show up and my, my friends are there. I'm like, Ooh, a nice surprise look on your face. Yeah. Anybody else? Does your parents ever not tell you everything? Probably for your own good. I mean, to protect you from things that are hard to hear when you're young and all that great stuff. This is how it ties in with civics. You know, sometimes not telling the truth, I guess, is okay if a parent is trying to protect you. But other times, it's really not a good idea. In civics, part of what we have are elections. Who can tell us what elections are? An election is where a president gets elected or is re-elected. The United States, as an example, casts ballots for our president, who was Donald Trump, but now is Joe Biden. It doesn't only have to be the president. There are 
um, city and state elections to elect senators and mayors and all that stuff. So it doesn't only apply to presidents, it applies to any, almost any seat of power. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for that. So much good information. So our elections are when we choose who our leaders are going to be. And the president of the United States is the number one person in our country. We have a lot of people in our country. We have about 330 million people. And out of all of us, somehow we have to figure out a way, well, who's going to be in charge? And the president is in charge, although there are many other people who make decisions along with the president. And that's to make sure we don't want one person to be able to do too much. Lucas mentioned a mayor, the mayor of a city. And that's the person who, like for Albuquerque, would be in charge of Albuquerque. And then there'd be other people on the city council who work with the mayor. But the point that I want to get to is that when people are running for office, they're trying to become mayor, they're trying to become president. A lot of times, and it disappoints me to say this, they don't tell the truth. And here's what's even sadder about that to me. A lot of times adults don't know. They cannot pick up when somebody is not telling the truth. I think that kids are much, much better. So I would suggest, even though we just had one election cycle that ended, that as we get to other elections, if you can be with your parents and you can listen to the people who are running for office and you can talk with your parents about is what that person's saying, do you believe it? Do you believe it to be true? Or do you think it's something that's not true? Because your parents can learn a whole lot from you about that because more and more kids are much better at picking up when others are not telling the truth. We're talking with Arthur Lieber. He is an educator in civics education out of St. Louis, Missouri, and we're delighted to be discussing the topic of civics. Much more to come. You're listening to the Children's Hour, but first, a little of this. You're only as good as your word. That's something that I've always heard If you make a promise You've got to follow through To show that that promise Means something to you If you don't follow through On your word Then you're just a sweet singing Bird, whose sweet hollow song just ends up sounding wrong Cause you're only as good as your word I give you my word means I will Make sure that my word is fulfilled Don't put off till tomorrow What you say you'll do today Don't say that you're staying And then go away If your words match the actions you do Then all of your dreams will come true Your promise to yourself won't end up on a shelf And you'll be as good as your word Children's Hour is produced by the Children's Hour Incorporated, a nonprofit dedicated to producing high quality kids' public radio. Find out more at childrenshour.org. 
Support for the Children's Hour provided by Electric Playhouse, an immersive entertainment center and dining experience in Albuquerque, New Mexico. While the Playhouse is currently closed for the safety of customers, learn about dining, play, and educational opportunities, as well as future locations at electricplayhouse.com. Support is also provided by the City of Albuquerque Cultural Services Department and the Urban Enhancement Trust Fund. There is a great idea, there is a special tool. I use it in my life, it's called the Golden Rule. I have a big idea, I have a special tool. I use it in my life, it's called the Golden Rule. Do unto others as you would have them do. Do unto you, do unto you. Treat your friends and your family and even strangers too. The way you'd have them treat you. special tool. I use it in my life. It's called the golden rule. I have a big idea. I have a special tool. I use it in my life. It's called the golden rule. Do unto others as you would have them do. Do unto you. Do unto you. Treat your friends and your Golden Rule is from a 2018 release by Frank and Deanne, Nation of Imagine. And before the break, you heard Mike Soloway from a CD called Hungry for Manners. You're only as good as your word. Speaking of words, we're talking about a very special word today. The word is civics. And Today on the Children's Hour, we have with us as our special guest, Mr. Arthur Lieber. He is a civics educator out of St. Louis, Missouri, and the kids have a lot more questions. Where does the word civics originate from? It, it comes from Latin. I'm not exactly sure what particular word, but Latin was a language that was spoken by the civilization in Rome, the city of Rome, which is in Italy. You know, you go back like 500 years before. BCE, before the Christian era, Rome was kind of like the most powerful place in the world, and they spoke Latin. I did a little research on this one. It is the Latin word was actually civics, which means relating to a citizen. And the Latin word civica was the like uh, sort of like a crown made out of oak leaves that was worn on the head 
which was done in ancient Rome when someone saved another Roman citizen from death and war. And so it was like a a badge of honor that they were a hero. So they wore the civica around their head. But the word civics, Latin, relating to a citizen. Yeah, Melissa. I hear this a lot in school and outside of school. What does it mean to be civic-minded? Great question, Melissa. I think to be civic-minded means that you care about others, you care about our society, that you want to make sure that there are people in our community, in our country, in the world, who are not suffering, who are not living in poverty, who are not hungry, they don't have food or don't have clothing, or they don't have access to health care, or they don't have access to schools. So to be civic-minded means that you care about yourself, that you care about other people, and you want to work with other people to make decisions so that we can all live well and healthy lives. Right now, our country seems pretty divided. We have a lot of split opinions between who people like and things like that. So how can we, and not only just people in general, but kids as well, help bring our country back together? Again, another great question. Something we we have um, here in St. Louis, we work with a number of students who are interested in civics, who are civic-minded. And this coming summer, one of the things we're going to do is to bring people together who have different points of view and have them talk about their thoughts on different issues. So Amadeus and Zen, I, I would say that if it's possible that you get an opportunity to talk to people who don't agree with you, that's fine. We can't all agree on everything. But you're able to talk it through in a very civil way. Civil means a very polite way. You're caring about one another. And yet again, you may not agree, but you know, if you agree to disagree, that's okay because you're respecting everyone else. But we can all learn so much from people who are different than us. And that's one of the things you know, I'm trying to work on now for myself personally and the students with whom I work, which is to get more opportunities to speak with people who might have different views from the ones we have. Well, Arthur Lieber, it has been such a pleasure having you on the Children's Hour. If there was something you could send our crew and our listeners all over the world off with, any kind of message about civics, what would it be? You know, we had a a president not too long ago by the name of Barack Obama. He was the first African-American president, first person of color who we've had as president in the United States. And his motto was about hope and change. He wanted people not to be fearful of one another, not to dislike one another, but to have hope. One of the people who was a, a big supporter of him was a person named Reverend Jesse Jackson. And Reverend Jackson would say, keep hope alive. And I think if there are three words that I'd like, you know, for you to perhaps keep in mind, it would be those three, keep hope alive. And if we do that, we can bring out what people call our better angels. We will be better for that. Arthur Lieber, thank you so much for being with us on the Children's Hour. It's been a pleasure to be with you. disease but then I sense we are fine it'll all happen one small step at a time when the world is full of violence and it needs a little kindness I just sit and pray in silence and God shows me the signs open my eyes realize we are fine 
one small act at a Last time. night I'm walking home and the homeless man says hello with a smile to let me know that he's got a lot of hope. He says, have faith, young man, we are fine. The world is kind. One small act at a time. Small acts we do together, even though maybe alone changes the world for the better so we can call it home. And this is life as we know when our hearts are aligned. The magic that unfolds, one small act at a time. Throw your hearts up, let it fly. Every single living soul Can you see your love for me shining through? Cause what you see in me I can see in you And soon enough you and me will be out of time And kindness will be all we can leave behind yeah. Feeling grateful today Never thought this day would come Where I would feel it and say that Each and every one of us has paved the way Doing good and now we're all just moving up when I'm kind of you, you pay it forward. This is how we yeah. build trust. Never had faith, but now I'm seeing you. I, t- I want to gift you my life. Want to spread love before I die. Thank you, God, for finally letting me realize when I serve man, I'm really serving you in disguise. Smiles everywhere, because now everybody's got the bug. Ain't no life without the love. If it is, it ain't no fun. What we gonna do now? Just grab a friend and give a hug. Spread it out real wide so everyone can be touched Throw your hearts up, let it fly high Let your love for all the world spread through the sky Let it drop down, let it all go Spreading kindness to every single living soul Can you see your love for me shining through? Cause what you see in me, I can see in you And soon enough, you and me will be out of time
Washington, D.C. is the Nodits from a CD called Are You Listening? And before that, you heard Nemo. Being kind is from Empty Hands. Today on the Children's Hour, we're talking about civics. And what that really means is just making your community as great as you can. And that takes everyone participating in their own way. We have some great resources posted for kids and families and teachers from the constitutioncenter.org. And there are lessons currently in civics and literature and this month's lesson on Martin Luther King Jr.'s Day of Service, which is coming up on January 18th, 2021. You can find the direct link and so much more, including our playlist at childrenshour.org. Just look for this episode page, Civics. In the background, you're hearing the United States Army Old Guard Fife and Drum Corps. Hour is supported in part by an award from New Mexico Arts, a division of the New Mexico Department of Cultural Affairs, and the National Endowment for the Arts. Support for the Children's Hour is provided by Token IBIS, a nonprofit making philanthropy accessible to everyone. To sign up, go to tokenibis.org. This program was produced in part thanks to a grant from the Albuquerque Community Foundation and from the Conscience of Society Fund. All around this big round world so many different things to see All around this big round world So many ways to be Every voice helps build the sound In harmony we sing along Our rhythm keeps it moving Keeps it moving on All around the world We are alive, alive as different as we are the same Billions of people on this earth No two fingerprints the same So many things to offer So many things to gain So much more because we're different Than if we were the same Travel Travel, where do you live? See what the world has to give. All around this big round world, so many different things to see. All around this big round world, so many ways to be. Every voice helps build this song. In harmony we sing along. Our rhythm keeps it moving, keeps it moving on All around the world Come on and dance Get up and dance Hey! Where do you 
the world has to give All around this big round world So many different things to see All around this big round world So many ways to be Every voice helps build the song In harmony we sing along Our rhythm keeps it moving Keeps it moving on All around the world Our spirit keeps it moving Keeps it moving strong All around the world Extinction Diaries. A new study is raising an alarming question. Can marine plankton, the literal foundation of marine ecosystems and the producers of about half of our oxygen, survive the rapid warming our planet is proving to be experiencing? According to the study published in the journal Nature Communications, the cold plankton-rich southern oceans are the highest risk region for plankton extinctions. Scientists discovered that several million years ago, during the Neogene period that had similar warming as we see today, there was massive die-offs of microscopic plankton called radiolarians. The study contradicts previous assumptions that plankton will migrate to more favorable climate conditions as temperatures rise. Today there are about a hundred radiolarian species alive and this study puts at least some, maybe most, of their survival in question. The result would cause cascading die-offs of species higher up the food chain. The entire scenario reveals just how little humans can depend on what we think we know about extinction and how little an effort we have made to stop it. My name is Arne Oliveira and this is a Small World Radio production. Little phytoplankton living in the ocean Giving us the oxygen we breathe Tiny phytoplankton leave me with a notion So much depends on things we cannot see Oh, you always find me sitting with a puzzle And you always find me reading mysteries Cause I like it when the answers are muddled And the figuring it out is up to me And it strikes me that the world is a machine I could lose myself in its complexity I could add new understanding as it is ever expanding I would like to serve its continuity Little phytoplankton back from the beginning For three billion years upon the waves you fared I'd need a microscope to see you out there swimming And yet you build a fortress in the air Oh, it's easy to feel small in this machine A little lost amid a myriad of bees I'll be looking for direction in the elegant connections That we find among us inevitably Like little phytoplankton living in the ocean Giving us the oxygen we breathe Sing a song of freedom 
sing a song of peace Maybe we can soothe the savage beast Sing a song of justice Sing a song of love Sing a song of the strength that grows within Helps us on our feet again Sing a song of freedom Sing a song of peace Sing a song of freedom Sing a song of peace That was Peter Lenton and friends from a CD called Proud Like a Mountain with the Song of Freedom. Before that, Phytoplankton was Elizabeth Mitchell from Spare the Rock Records Science Fair. And before the Extinction Diaries, you heard Big Round World from Trout Fishing in America. Coming up next, this is DJ Willie Wow right here on the Children's Hour. Bring the noise, girls and boys. This is Chuck D from the legendary group Public Enemy, P.E. It's DJ Willie Wild, Black History Music. It's the best kids' music. Somebody has to do it. This is MLK that, that way. way. Dr. Martin Luther King, let freedom ring. Ring, ring. Little ring, black ring. boys and black girls. This is black history. American history. The king of Atlanta the was a giant. And Alabama lived in the Get from in front of this me. This is history. This is a summary. English, religion, and science. Whoa. You can be what you want to be. All you kids out there, sisters and brothers, all colors. This is MLK. We can see you in the museum. Keep reading. This is for every human being. I'm king with the Morehouse College. Couldn't wait much longer. Somebody had to do it. This is black. It's the read music, all people included. It's a movement, let's move it. Ride a bus to get to it. All the fuss deep rooted. When you're up against the ya ya ya, we gon' get through it. Miss Rosa wasn't having it, she was tired that day. She looked the police and she said, No way. Bless her heart, Rosa Parks. She's the spark for MLK. That way. Here we go. Martin Luther King Jr. He was a preacher. He was a preacher. He was a preacher. Okay, that way, a national treasure. They tried to put us down when we knew that we were better. Am I crooked? Let her crooked, let her. I'm a crooked, let her crooked, let her. Mississippi bringing people together. Spitting out smoother than a cashmere Morehouse sweater. Put a hum on his line for the queen named Coretta. Never forget her. Hey, he rocked the mic and paid the price for civil rights. He gave his life under so much pressure. Let's all come together. All people, everyone should be singing tonight. Sing it, and okay, that way. Hey, 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 that okay, that way. Here we go, we won't. Willie Wow, hey, we lit for every crowd. Had to teach the kids some, cause we shall overcome. The whole world knows his name. He made people number one. Martin dreaming, tag teaming, so you can have your freedom. In DC speaking on the microphone, leading a real deal superhero. Trying to make you equal when that talk was illegal. He did for the people. He's the reason why America flies like an eagle. He was a teacher. He was a great strong black He was a preacher. He was a teacher. He was a great strong black Hey, Gandhi! Let freedom ring from the baby who took California. Not only that, let freedom ring from Stone Mountain of Georgia. And every city, we will be able to 
and white men, Jews and Jews. It's your boy, Sao Paulo. And Lil Mike. And I dedicate this to you and you and all y'all. Won't you dream, 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 dream. dream. Everybody just dream. Now, dream, for all the dream, young people, dream, what I need dream, you to do dream, is say dream, this for me. Dream. Bring the dreams back. Dream, 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 That's just my way to say it. We made our dreams a reality. That's the goal. Once you do that, you take it to the next level. So, level up now. When I was younger, I just wanted to dream. And when I was younger, all I did was dream. And as I get old, I want to live those dreams. I want my life to be balanced. I want people around the world to know I've got talent. Cause you know I dream in 3D. I also want to be the key. I want my name to be labeled as a star. I want to be able to get my family fancy cars. I feel like you should get to follow in my steps. I want me and my family to all have success. Every day I wake up, I give my best. Nothing more, nothing less, I'm just myself. That's why I dream, 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 dream. dream. Everybody dream, 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 dream. Now bring it down now. Saul Paul from his 2020 release All-Star Anthems, We Dream in 3D, features Lil Mike. And before that, you heard MLK That Way with DJ Willy Wow. And The Crowd Goes Wild is the name of that CD. Thanks for listening to our show on civics. You can learn a lot more about this show and this topic at childrenshour.org. We're going to go out with a little Nina Simone. I wish I knew how would feel to be free I wish I could break all the chains holding me I wish I could say all the things that I should say say I'm loud say I'm clear for the whole round world to hear I wish I wish I could share all the love that's in my heart Remove all the bars that be The Children's Hour is written by Katie Stone Produced by The Children's Hour Incorporated We record our shows at the Sunspot Solar Studio in Albuquerque, New Mexico With help from all of us on the Kids Crew Many thanks to Arthur Lieber for being with us on the show today and to the kids from the Extinction Diaries out of KFOI in Redding and Red Bluff, California. Our podcast can be found wherever you get podcasts or at patreon.com slash the children's hour. We post photos and more on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Find us at TCH Radio. Find lots of information about us at childrenshour.org. Our theme music is written by C.K. Barlow. The Children's Hour is distributed by the Children's Hour Incorporated and the Public Radio Exchange, PRX, and the Pacifica Radio Network. Thanks for listening to The Children's Hour, Kids Public Radio.